Come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the fire me burn them and done them. Come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the water me wash them man cleanse them. Come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the, come give me the herb make me go light it and heal them. Come give me the, come give me the, yo them conscience wrap round them neck like a rope and it's a hang them. We no come here so free from them boy. Wrap round them neck like a rope and it's a hang them. I give me the fire make me burn them. Yeah, bro. You know I live around my people, man. I live around my people, so I know. I know that, you know, the knowledge of electricity, which would have been classified as ether. You know what I'm saying? If you're talking about ancient uh, alchemy and the uh, ancient classifications of uh, elements, you know, they had they had earth, water, air, and ether. You know what I'm saying? Or they said fire, or someone said ether. And they still qualified in the same, you know what I'm saying, classification. And so earth, water, air, and ether in the ancient alchemy classification of elements would correspond to solid, uh, liquid, gas, and plasma. You know, now electricity is uh, classified as a plasma in modern, you know, scientific classification. Therefore, it would have classified as ether in ancient alchemical classification, right? So if you're saying, oh, I'm an electrical engineer, I'm an electrician, right? You're literally saying, I am an ether engineer. I am an uh, ether technician. I am that individual amongst the tribe who knows how to control the ethers for the use. You know what I'm saying? The practical use of our people. So not only is that an ancient science, you know what I'm saying? But that's something that's still in us today because, like I said, I live amongst my people. And every now and then, everybody's experience, they, they pull up to, to the red light. There's, there's some young brothers, they pull up next to you, and you can't hear your radio no more. <laughs> because that system has overpowered your car. Not only that, you might be sitting in your car, not only can you hear it, but you can feel it in your chest. You're like, dang! You know what I'm saying? What do they got in that vehicle? Now, I don't know if anybody's ever uh, attempted to put in a system, a stereo system into a vehicle like that, you know what I'm saying, or seen it done, but it's not a trivial uh, electrical job. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, there's some talent involved in that. Now, our brothers and our sisters are putting them in, our, in these vehicles, right? And we didn't necessarily go to school for it. You know what I'm saying? It came, it came innate to us. It came to us by nature. It's in our genes. It's in genuity. You know what I'm saying? When you break down the word engineer, it, it breaks down to in genes. It's in your genetics. It's ingenuity. It's in your genes. You know what I'm saying? So they actually have that ability. <laughs> it's natural. And, you know, we're, we're in a space and time um, where people are being born more and more with that natural uh, technological ability. Like, the children are being born and they're just naturally techies. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they'll be like three or four years old and they know how to run the computer. Like, shit, you give them your phone and they doing stuff with your phone. You're like, man. Now, the mama has to go to the little baby, the little four or five year old baby, to sh show them how to use the phone. The father has to go to his son to show him how to use, you know what I'm saying, the email and the computer. And so, it's like all of these, you know, we're, we're in a technological generation. It's a generation of techies. And our people, you know, because of economics and finances, you know, if we're being starved of certain information, then where is that technological expertise going to go? And that's been happening. It's been happening for a long time, right? But what we're seeing now, we're, we've seen a genetic acceleration. We're seeing children being born who you, you sit back and look like, man, how did you know how to do that? How did you figure that out? And so there's, there's a need for that ingenuity, ingenuity to be cultivated, you know what I'm saying, for the good of our people. And so that's one of the uh, missions, goals, and aims of the African Christian Energy um, Movement. You know, actually have an intention to do a... a a summer science camp to begin with before I can get into like a full school, like year-round school, you know, so start off doing like summer science camps for the, for the kids, you know what I'm saying? But we gotta get this information out there. And really not just for the kids, for the adults too, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, people always talk about black power, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you, you're yelling black power, but you're still paying Georgia power, or you're still paying the Southern company, you're still paying the power company. And so it's like, it, it's how black power, real black power can actually power our home and we can live off the grid, we can live for of and by each other. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hold off on that, but I demonstrate, you know what I'm saying, how to actually harness and cultivate real black power that can light your house. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and in the future, hopefully, you drive your car. You know what I'm saying? That's that real free energy. And it's not free energy insofar as there's no monetary cost, like I don't have to pay no more money, but actually liberation energy. You know what I'm saying? Liberation energy. You know what I'm saying? Because you're mentally liberated to know how to do what it is you need to do. You know what I'm saying? To accomplish whatever goal you're trying to accomplish. It's liberation energy. You follow, they say, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. You know, liberate, liberate free energy is like giving you a fish. You know what I'm saying? Liberation energy is teaching you how to fish. So you can have a lifetime, you have eternal life of prosperity, power, and empowerment. You follow? And so that's what, you know, that's what we're about, man. That's what we're trying to get done. Um,